What's up guys? We're back with another video. I've been pumping them out for you guys. Okay, obviously you've seen the title. I know I kind of talked about this in, another, in the, one of the other SP videos, but I really wanted to just make a specific video for why you should take them off a pedestal and tell you how you can get them to chase you. I wanted to elaborate on just that topic specifically because even though I got into it, I think it deserves its own video because some of you still had some questions. So hopefully they get answered in this video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy. We are the mermaid gang over here. If you hear a noise, my pocket bully, she's in here because she cannot be without me. So join the mermaid gang if you're new here. Don't wait, join us. We suspend our disbelief and we manifest every single thing we want and every one we want. If you end up loving my video and you think that one-on-one -on -one coaching could benefit you, I do offer email sessions and I offer a subscription service where you basically have my attention for an entire month. So, if that sounds good to you, you can contact me on Twitter or Instagram. Everything's in the description box. Let's get into the video. Okay, so if you are having a problem with your SP being on a pedestal, that means you have literally placed them above you, which means that you are seeing them as if they are separate from you and like have free will. They don't. They don't have free will. They are only acting upon your assumptions. So if they're on a pedestal and they are doing the complete opposite of chasing you, which is what you want them to do, that is based on your assumptions. Because trust me, they don't have free will. They can only show up the way you assume they will show up. They can only think the thoughts that you think they're thinking. They can only do the things that you expect them to do. So if you have put them on a pedestal, you see yourself as below them and you, that's how they show up. And not only them, when you do that with one person, you kind of do it with everyone because everyone is you pushed out. So if you see yourself as less than anyone, you're going to encounter people coming into your reality, treating you like you are less than. And why in the hell would you allow someone or multiple someones to come in your reality and you're the creator and let them treat you like you're less than? Never. This is your world. It literally unfolds based on your assumptions. So whether good or bad, it is unfolding for you. If they're showing up and treating you like you're less than them or like they're better than you, then that is because you've created them to be that way. You create them to be who they are. They are literally your creation. Or if they don't show up at all, if they completely reject you and ignore you, you have created them to be that way. They are your creation. Okay, so we've established the problem. So Sammy, what's the solution? Well, I'm gonna tell you. What the solution is, is you need to create a new belief system right now, right now. And if you're not sure, before I tell you the, the solution, if you're not sure where you stand, or if you think you've been intending or changing your beliefs already, if you're like, Sammy, I've already done this. I do my affirmations and I do my visuals. If I told you to text them right now, how does that make you feel? Are you nervous? Are you afraid they would ignore you? Are you concerned? Would you be anxious to know if they would text you back or not? then you still have the old belief system. If your answer is yes to those things, sorry, I had a cold for like a whole week and I'm just now getting over it and so I get out of breath. Um, 
If you are concerned at all about either of those things, then you still need to create a new belief system. So whatever you've been doing, unless it lines up with what I'm about to say, drop that, do this. So first, you need to create the belief about yourself. You need to change your self-concept because you literally see yourself as less than people and you should not do that. This is your reality. In this reality, you are absolutely perfect. You are literally in control. Like you are the boss bitch or man. You're the boss in this reality. So you decide how people see you. You need to create the self-concept that you are perfect. I am perfect. I'm a boss ass bitch. I am the most amazing person that walks this earth. I'm the smartest. I'm the prettiest. I'm the most talented. I'm the most wanted. And whatever else you can think of. However you want people to see you and however you would like to feel about yourself. I am the most confident person that walks this earth. Whatever makes you feel good, whatever you would like to see yourself as, start creating the belief of it. Start creating that. Start making yourself believe that about yourself. And once you've done that, then you start incorporating that that's how other people see you. Everyone thinks I'm perfect. I'm the most wanted person in the world. Everyone hangs off of my every word. They want to hear everything I have to say. They think I'm so intriguing. They think I'm fucking amazing. They think I am the best thing since sliced bread. Okay? The other belief you need to have is that they want to be with you. If you feel like you can't even text them and know for sure if they're going to reply or how they're going to reply, then you don't believe they want to be with you. In order to create them to be who you want to be in a relationship or to chase you, you need to create the belief that they want to be with you. And the only reason they're not wanting to be with you right now is because you don't believe they do. So you need to decide now they absolutely want to be with me. They don't even notice other females or males. They absolutely want to be with me and only me. They only have eyes for me. They can't see themselves without me. Another big hell no that you cannot do, what you need to stop right now, is wondering what they're thinking. No, 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 no. You decide what they're thinking. You create their thoughts. So you decide right now what they're thinking and you intend and intend and intend and imagine and affirm that that is what they are thinking. You decide what they are thinking. If you want to decide they're thinking of nothing but you all day every day, then do it. Decide that. Affirm it. Reaffirm it. Imagine it. Imagine them telling you that. I can't stop thinking about you. I think about you 24 seven. I know, I know. Who wouldn't? I mean, and if you really wanna take this route, you can decide that they're obsessed with you. You can create that and they will be, so be careful. Be careful with that one. But I mean, you want them to chase you, this is how you do it. And remember, you can tone it down at any time. You decide what they're thinking all the time. They're always your creation. They're always you pushed out. That doesn't change. Only your belief system about them changes them and about yourself. So create the story that you want. They're obsessed with you. They can't stop thinking about you. They are constantly trying to see you, go out with you, calling you. They are texting me all day, every day. They can get enough of me. They're constantly trying to get my attention. That's actually, those things are actually great for you to imagine telling to your bestie or your mom or your sister or your brother, whoever you talk to, whoever like you confide in about these kind of things. You could imagine telling them these things. That's actually a really great idea. 
telling them in your imagination and looping it. They'll do anything to get me. Anything. Your most important thing here is your self-concept. You literally need to think of yourself as the baddest bitch. Like, I am perfect. I'm amazing. I am beautiful. I am the baddest bitch. I'm a boss ass bitch. Everybody wants me. Everybody. You have to shift. You have to shift who you are for people to show up in that way. Because if you don't see yourself that way, how are you going to create them to see you that way? If you've ever, ha I mean, come on. I'm sure you've had a situation where even if you didn't want them, you've had a situation where someone was pursuing you. In that situation, I can guarantee you weren't nervous. You knew if you texted them, they're going to answer and they would be happy to hear from you. You've been in a situation where someone was pursuing you before. Use that. Remember how that felt, how confident and like nonchalant you were about it. Use that. Become that person again with your new SP, with the one that you want to be acting like that. Embody that feeling and that confidence the same way. You need to really be living from the end of your new story. And if you are living from the end of your new story, you would not be wondering or questioning or nervous or anxious. You would be none of those things. You wouldn't be looking for your manifestation. You wouldn't be like, why hasn't he texted me yet? Why hasn't this? Why hasn't that? No. You just create your little pretend world up here until it comes to the 3D. They text me all day, every day. Like, they were, t they text me good morning every single morning. They are constantly trying to get my attention. Like, they, like, he, he thinks I'm the baddest bitch. Like, I got him right where I want him. Pretend, create a whole world. Pretend like yesterday. Ooh, that's a good idea. I just got a new idea too. You could use revision to help with this situation. Um, Neville talks about revising your day at the end of the day. But I'm a person who likes to visualize during the day. So what I'll do is I'll revise the day before. So like yesterday, I'll go through some of it normal. I'll pick a scenario as it really happened. And then I'll add in something that I wish had happened. So say yesterday you had lunch with your sister or your friend or yesterday you were chilling watching Netflix. We'll go with that because we're all under quarantine. You're probably watching Netflix. So yesterday while you were chilling watching Netflix, whatever you were watching, your phone went off and it was your SP and they were just telling you how much they can't wait for quarantine to be over because they can't wait to see you or whatever you wanted to say. I don't know. Everybody's Everybody wants something different. Whatever you want from that person, I don't care what your past experience is. I don't care if it's an ex and y'all broke up and it was something bad. I don't care about none of that. None of that happened. No old story. No old story. New story, fresh start, never happened. Create it how you want it to be instead. So you were chilling on the couch watching Netflix and ding, you got a text from your SP or you got a call or you got a FaceTime. Don't imagine they showed up at your door were quarantined. Wait until after. But use you can use revision. That's a great tool. And when you're visualizing, you get into that feeling. You will naturally get the confident feeling. You will get past that giddy, excited, miracle that they text me feeling the more you visualize it. But I need you to be affirming and reaffirming all day long. Take them off the damn pedestal. This is your reality. Stop putting people above you. They cannot be above you in your own damn house. You gonna let somebody walk in your house and tell you what you can and can't get out the fridge? What you can watch on TV? No, you're not gonna do that. So don't do that in your own damn reality. Okay? That is how you do it. That is how you take them down. That is how you get them to chase you. You decide that they're chasing you. But you have to change your self-concept first. Change your self-concept and then change their concept of you. Don't be wondering what they're thinking. You create what they're thinking. They're only thinking what you think they're thinking. Okay? It's all in your control. That's how you get them to chase you. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Contact me if you would like some one-on-one -on -one coaching and we can deal with your particular situation. And we have